Hey everybody, it's your buddy Chad, Colorado Giants. I know, you're surprised, it's me yet again. Today is the Thursday the 23rd, and it's time to get ready to get molar loaded. I thought a lot about it, I'm definitely, I'm going to take molar. There's no risk, no reward, so I'm going to let uh, Miss Juana grow another week. Maybe another two weeks, I don't know. We'll roll the dice and hopefully she holds together uh, until we take her to the way off. The task at hand is to clear off all of this plant, all of this tomato jungle uh, to get mola ready for lifting tomorrow. I'm going to cut everything off but the pumpkin itself so that it's still sucking up all the juice and everything that's kind of, all the gas that's in the tank is going to go into, uh, into the wheel, metaphorically, or into the engine that is the pumpkin. So uh, we'll throw this here on time-lapse mode and you can see the before. And here in a second, you'll see the after. Okay, well... All of the vines are disconnected from the main vine, and uh, that is is that. I'm not going to hyperlapse or take up you guys' time to show you the whole process because you get the general idea. I got a few piles of, like, basically clippings, so I'll get all those cleared out. I'll drag the rest of these vines to the uh, compost pile. I'll get the bucket <coughs> or my uh, my little wagon to get these ones and then I rake it up and I pull out uh, you know a handful of all the weeds and whatnots so let's both get a look at molar in all of her glory for the first time again I had intended to look at uh, my videos to see when this was pollinated but I forgot I bet you there'll be some mouse under here nope no mice just roots um, but like I, I'm pretty positive it's in August and I don't I don't even remember the cross I think I've just grabbed the closest flower um, so yeah the, somebody asked in the last video was there tomatoes yeah there is a boatload of tomatoes that I've hauled out and this is how we got in the tomato situation we're in this year is last year there was tomatoes hiding and uh, yeah, and then I tilled them in. So what I'm going to do this year is I didn't till in the fall. I tilled in the spring, but I'm definitely going to till in the fall so that all these baby tomatoes will uh, will germinate. And the reason that the tomatoes are so big is that they're just it's it's just one giant clump of roots. And if you don't know, you know the entire tomato plant is capable of generating roots. So as the plants grow up, then they lay down. The part that's in contact with the ground sends down more roots. So it just grows and grows and grows, and it you know, has a root system <laughs> as big as the pumpkin plant, and that's how you get uh, you know, probably a 500 square foot tomato plant. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty, that's pretty wild. One thing I did want to reiterate on uh, on and about this plant in particular and when you do your own pumpkin plants it's it's so critical to bury the vines like when I was pulling out the back section that I buried um, there was just so many roots you can see the tap root right here and then not a good example because there's not one from the top actually this is the top so there's the top root right here and or the bottom root was right here. So the bottom root, which looks like that, you know, and then t a lot bigger, and then the top root. When you don't bury your vines, like this one, you'll get the root that comes out of the bottom, but there's no root that's out on top. And sometimes if this root is not even making contact with the ground, like here, you'll just get no root. So there's no root on this node because it wasn't in contact with the ground. So 
big roots equal big fruits and you want to make sure that you have as many roots as possible so you get the biggest pumpkin possible that's why I'm gonna be kicking myself in the foot with that one because uh, I didn't bury any vines in that not a single vine was buried on that pumpkin and it's still doing pretty darn okay uh, there's lots of guesses in the comments um, we're just gonna do this one so if you guessed uh, on anything else I'll ignore that I'm just gonna take the molar guesses for this week and then every week we'll guess whatever pumpkin I'm going to take uh, that particular week but this is molar in all of its glory I made the decision to take uh, Miss Juana to the to the next one I want to I want to risk it as she is still growing many pounds a day no risk it no biscuit so that is that I'm just gonna finish cleaning up my mess this is okay somebody asked about that if it's a stem crack it's okay because this doesn't go into the cavity of the pumpkin and if it did this pumpkin would have rotted a long time ago so when it's just a stem crack that's okay that's not a big deal bug sorry about the runny nose and you can see too where this tried to pull itself off of the main vine deadheaded it and then it's all the way back here you can see what, uh, right there there's where the first pumpkin was that aborted or actually that split and then all the way back there is what it took to get another one so that's probably at least 28 feet out there at least well, that's it everybody subscribe wish me luck post your guests guests guesses <laughs> on this pumpkin what it's gonna weigh if you get it exactly right you win 100 bucks if you get all four right you get 400 bucks so see ya